second poem that I posted on Wednesday, February the 9th, 2022, to catch up to, you know, the poem a day kind of concepts in February of that year, last year, a year ago, and a little bit more than that today. Wednesday, February, today, by the way, which is uh, February the 17th, it's a little after midnight, so it's 17th of February, 2023. Wednesday, February the 28th, 2022, anachronism number 3,508. The title is, What One Invention Do You Find Completely Useless and Why? From 300 More Writing Prompts, an actual book. Offhand, I could certainly think of several, but I wish... Uh, offhand, I can certainly think of several that I wish were useless, but no better, such as those silky pillows that you wrap around your neck for airline flights, or like some people I know, for general all-around comfort. I mean, they're hardly ever seen without one, no matter the occasion or location. Especially because the one I ever purchased was so initially cool to my skin and so refreshing that when within three minutes my entire head was hot as blazes, my neck and everywhere the pillow came into contact with my skin was sweating profusely. Blackberry cell phones which for years I always had to have on my person at all times, in addition to my personal cell phone, so that I could not, so that I could be contacted by the executives I assisted at work. I want to say condoms, but that's a mess of an addition to the list, considering I can certainly remember the importance of having to wear one, as opposed to prep which is often difficult not to think of as the invention of my lifetime, having missed the days when sexual freedom was a bit less of a game of Russian roulette. And speaking of Russia and roulette, how about dictators and automatic guns? Or maybe weapons in general? But there might be an exception, even though it uh, eludes me at present, which is to say that I'm presently too lazy to debate, particularly with imbeciles. Speaking of which, how about willful ignorance, that dreadful invention made from a lack of empathy or general laziness? And speaking of generals, the military in general, except anarchy is a fairly delusional invention of politicslessness. And then I'd Next, be having to explain why law enforcement is not unnecessary, in my strong opinion. So, what about corruption? Except, how else might the classes, which grow ever more distant from each other, fight fire with fire? Next up would be the class system itself. But, what then would come of democracy? Which, along with religion and all of its various offshoots, not spirituality, of course, might be, in the end, Horribly counterproductive constructs. Speaking of constructs, I might as well dig myself even deeper by suggesting that monogamy is, dare I say, one of the most ludicrous of all constructs. And yet, how might this poet reconcile his hopeless romanticism? Speaking, of course, of an invention, we all might be better off without. Moving out of the realm of systems of the nonsensical that become as if law, blue laws seem more ob obviously useless than most of this list, but, but, and how about aluminum foil? Or at least with regard to its uses as packager of food or other things, and as a hat worn to deter extraterrestrials. But what do I know when push comes to shove? I mean, I'd add the Senate, and wouldn't there be a lot of agreement? Others might offer the other branches of government are pretty worthless, but are they completely useless? Hard to say, I suppose. Or 5G. Does it really work better than its predecessors? It certainly doesn't seem to me to be anything but less effective than 4G. Plus, there's all this talk of disturbing airline traffic, which sounds like quite a substantial problem. Oh, how about skin-tight clothing? But I'm sure someone could argue me out of its utter uselessness. And now it comes to me something that is utterly worthless, the necktie. Don't even try to debate me on this one. 
I must say, however, that it, like many other things I describe as useless attire or nonsense accessories, can be fun to prance around town with or the office or to events in which one is uh, meant to be seen and ones in which being seen is utterly unnecessary, wearing something that serves no purpose when one is not forced to wear such a thing most every day of the week. I know this from living on the West Coast. After somehow having eked out existences in the South, the Midwest, and the Northeast of these so-called United States, for some 22 years now, here in my much maligned and much loved, ever-changing, adopted home of San Francisco. And that's quite a significant portion of my life. Well, more than that which I've spent any other place in which I've resided, including the state I was born in, remain through my trajectory into adulthood and, at least by theoretical definition, and beyond. And, and, and what gives this city more usefulness and purpose, despite the flimsiness and flakiness of its in and out and in again inhabitants, as far as I'm concerned, than the general irrelevance, relatively speaking, of wearing a necktie? In fact, perhaps that is the one last reason I can still be found here. What a useful city it turns out to be. My beautiful, temperate, difficult-to-love home.